Hey guys, Arthur here. Just a quick update about the corkscrews. So when you decide to do a corkscrew, I'm having issues uh, with the corkscrew. Um, hopefully, if you guys are having the same issue, maybe this video can a uh, little bit help you out a little. The uh, issue that I've been having is a lot of people keep telling me, kick more, kick more, kick more. And I'm like, I don't understand that. I, I don't really understand how to kick more. Uh, I feel like that's a very useless advice. They don't really help you out. It's something like saying, jump higher. You know, it doesn't really tell you what to do with your body. It just tells you what it needs to be done. You know, it doesn't give you a way to practice it. It just gives you advice like breathe better. That doesn't that doesn't help you in any sort of way. Uh, so here's my little tip about the corkscrew. I've been getting this the whole kick more uh, problem. My twists were coming out faster than my jumps. My jumps were, I don't know, they were not getting the height they needed. But it was a lot to do with the kick. So what you want to do when you kick, you actually want to take your time with the kick. Practice just swinging your leg back and forth. Feel the weight of the, the leg getting past your body. Wait until the leg gets to a certain height before you actually start jumping. So drill that into you. Drill that feeling, that momentum, that feeling of like letting your leg come through first. Because I was not letting, I was rushing it. I thought it was like all at the same time. You jump, you kick, and you twist. It, and it kept on going like that and even like even though I was trying to wait it didn't make sense to me like I understood it mentally I just didn't understand it physically and that's a lot of people's problem they don't understand it physically and for that to fix that you actually just want to try drilling stuff down a lot of people say hey um let's uh let's just keep throwing it just just keep throwing just keep practicing and it works for some people some people will actually get a, a a better training session if they just keep throwing but the problem about that is that you're hurting yourself and sometimes it, you will hurt yourself to the point that you can't practice then you're out for a week two a month it depends on the injury and these tricks sometimes they will hurt you a lot you know i was falling to my side hitting like my shoulder down to the ground that it was making me miserable and then i started landing on my knees where which was even horrible because i started getting them swole i'm like i can't practice if uh, on a swole knee that's that's just asking for me to go to the hospital so what i did was i started grabbing the trick and breaking it down i started changing a couple of the stuff and just working on, on focusing on that if you have a phone pit if you have friends if you're anything like that they can help you out that will definitely help you out a lot if not try very much a lot of the basic stuff just a kick just a jump just a twist just jump and twist don't don't worry about the flip and don't worry about anything like that work on just getting a 360 jump 360 jump get keep your chest up try to get the best 360 jumps ever like be the best that you can be at a 360 jump because a corkscrew really it becomes that uh, the point that you you don't understand it at first and it makes it hard and I still find it hard but after a while once you understand the technique you'll be like oh well this was not as hard as it, it that I thought it would be it's actually easier so what do you guys want to do for that is really just practice the basics like I said it's I really emphasize this on that is that you just practice a little portion uh, portions of the move itself just to get rid of the fear and also it will get rid of the fear it'll help you all get rid of the fear and make you actually go for it and then you might end up going for it once and landing like sort of okay and then you'll go a second time and then a third time don't rush it okay these tricks they do take time I myself I'm 6'2 okay and I weigh 205 pounds so for me landing on one little part of my body with all that weight and all that momentum really hurts so I really had to be careful when I do it now if you're a smaller guy chances are it's gonna be easier for you because you have a lot less body limbs that are you know shorter and all that stuff and guess what a shorter person doesn't mean they jump lower it's just that they have less reach that's all it means they they jump the exact same height as I do which means for me for example a back tuck for me to tuck it means a lot for you for them to tuck not so much they can do it almost opened you know they they have the same exact height but for me I have a lot of legs I have a lot of arms you know on length so I really need to push everything that I need to anyways guys this is just a video uh, hope this will help you out hope this actually gives you some inspiration um, I'll keep shooting some of my videos and I'll post it down here 
Uh, and that's it, guys. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll try keeping you guys more posted about this stuff. Peace.